Uh, teaching banking law this past fall semester was quite a challenge, as you might imagine. Every day I had to go in and talk about the recent developments, so I'm used to that. And I tried to uh, impress upon my students this wonderful opportunity to watch history being made. Um, first of all, as we've already alluded to, deposit insurance purpose is to increase customer confidence and to hopefully prevent runs on the bank. Uh, Runs are, by creditors are really something that is somewhat unique to banks where most of the liabilities of the institution, the deposits, are repayable by the bank to its creditors, the depositors, on their demand and at par. In contrast, for many businesses like, for instance, General Motors, a bondholder, a creditor, cannot demand repayment on the bond at will, uh, at par, from General Motors prior to its due date, but rather uh, if they are no longer interested in having that credit relationship with GM, then they would sell the bond in the market at whatever the current market price is. Some of the recent bank casualties are the uh, result of bank runs, as we've already discussed. Uh, IndyMax run actually occurred after the bank was taken over by the FDIC. But that created, got a lot of uh, public press attention. And then uh, following that, Washington Mutual uh, suffered $16 billion in deposit withdrawals in its last nine days of independent existence. And Wachovia was the victim of a uh, bank run also on Friday, September 26th, uh, which precipitated the uh, weekend arrangement to um, potentially sell it to Citigroup that was amount, announced on Monday, September 29th. And then as was discussed earlier, uh, ultimately um, superseded by the Wells Fargo bid. Now, a risk of increasing deposit insurance is also increasing moral hazard. If the bank knows that its uh, creditors are going to be taken care of by the FDIC, then what incentive are those creditors going to provide? None to discipline the bank to make um, good loans. So there is a potential risk that the bank will be engaged in riskier uh, lending activities or other investment activities that would offer a potentially higher return that the bank would uh, enjoy um, or potentially result in a loss, which the bank would not be responsible for, rather the FDIC.